Hey everyone, Matt J. Doyle here with Tap Interviews, powered by EasyWay TV, EasyWay.tv. I'm here with the amazing, the beautiful, the wonderful, the outstanding, Miss Deborah Paulson. Deborah, welcome to Tap Interviews. Hi, it's nice to see you, Matt. Nice. In person, finally. Nice to see you too. And yeah, please let us know what projects are you currently working on? Well, you know, of course, that my film, I Want to Jump, that is on 2B, Amazon Prime, Plex, and uh, many other places um, that we're screening tonight. Uh, but I am also working on multiple music projects. I just did a song that's streaming on Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, a lot of places with Leroy Butler, and many people know him from Bahamut. So I went to the Bahamas to do that. That turned out really well. Um, it's called I Love You, and uh, you just look it up. I Love You by Rilera Butler and Deborah Paulson. But I'm doing also, I don't know if you know this, but an animated uh, children's music series. Uh, so that's in the works. People will be seeing that soon. Um, and it's uh, called Miss Deborah's Musical Adventure. Um, and this summer, I plan to do another feature film, which we need to talk about, uh, called Broken Melodies. And there's a lot of other things that I'm doing right now for um, other people's projects, uh, other filmmakers in, in Florida, and uh, yeah, there's a lot going on. Yeah. Awesome, Deborah. And where can we find you online? What's the best place? Well, you can find me on social media under my nickname, which is Debbie Paulson, or you could go to www.debora.debrah. Dash Paulson P A U L S E N dot com. Anybody that's a filmmaker can just look me up on IMDb, of course, under Deborah Paulson. And um, yeah, awesome. And uh, what is your message to your fans and the rest of the world right now? My message is this: uh, something I just mentioned on stage. So um, when people do find my film, I want to jump. That is the film about my son who took his life, unfortunately. Uh, I was the one that found him, and it was very devastating. Um, so um, my, I really struggled. I mean, I still do, but but I have decided, and this is something that I would like everybody to take as a takeaway. I have two choices. We all do. We all have been through or will go through something, and we can choose to let that destroy us, or we can choose to use that pain for a purpose and however that looks like for each person may be different and it could be like for me it was use my pain and um try to give people uh solutions you know solutions or or even just build empathy and to by seeing what people that struggle with mental health issues go through through a lens it's so much easier these taboo subjects people may not want to talk about them and they might even shun you and which makes people afraid to talk about these subjects but they will watch it through film in the safety of their home and then they will receive the messages that they hear so why not give a good message of hope um you know so uh, you may have been through something that maybe i haven't been through and so you might empath be able to empathize with someone else that maybe I couldn't. And I feel like each one of us has a story to tell. So, and uh, who knows? Maybe even just uh, saying to somebody, I've been there and I made it, and so will you. That would be all they need to hear. Awesome, Deborah. Well, thank you so much for coming on Tap Interviews. You have a wonderful night tonight. Thank you. You too. Bye.